Well, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me once again for another video. So today um, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get started on this um, kind of interesting color palette. I am gonna show you once we get down on the table um, and we'll see how this one turns out. Uh, thank you so much for everyone that has joined my channel, that has subscribed. I appreciate you so much. I am gonna go ahead and kind of touch back up on the basics um, just to welcome everybody on board and get you up into speed here of what we do. So without further ado, meet me down at the canvas. Okay, everyone, thank you so much. We're here down at the table. So I am covering first basics. So I am working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. My canvas has been prepped on the back. So I have taped my border behind so that when the paint drips over, at least I keep the border here of the wood under the canvas um, clean. And as much as possible, I keep the back of my canvas clean. If you get it dirty, not a problem. It shows that a human has worked on it. So that's perfectly fine. It's all a matter of preference, not what's right or wrong. I do have push pins here that you can see. I have pushed those in with a hammer, um, lightly tapping it, and this will allow my canvas to be above the surface where I have it, so above my table, so that the paint can drip under it and I can clean it up. So um, then what I have is a leveler, and what I do is I make sure that my canvas is leveled because when you blow out your design, you want to make sure that it's not distorted because it wasn't leveled. So you want to make sure you have it completely leveled. This one is completely leveled, so we can go ahead and proceed to working with it. Now I am just um, kind of cleaning, just make sure that I don't have dust particles sitting on top of my canvas. Quickly, I am putting my gloves and I use my gloves just so that I can keep my hands clean. If I have to touch anything up, um, I don't have dirty hands. So my color combination, first I'm using Pale Olive by Windsor and Newton. This is gonna be my, my base color. So I'm gonna flood my canvas and we will proceed. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and first flood our canvas. Now we're going to go ahead and torch our air bubbles. We uh, torch the top as the air bubble surface to prevent pinholes. And usually this part of the video I speed up, but I'm not going to do so only because I'm talking you guys through this as I am actually doing or prepping and getting everything situated here. Um, you can either torch, you can also tap. If you tap, it's also going to uh, disperse or, or get rid of the air bubbles. And you can do that a couple of times. Now for this part where I'm gonna spread my paint using the travel size hair dryer, And I use this flower hair dryer by Drew Barrymore. You can get it anywhere. Um, and I set it to low. So this part, I'm gonna speed you guys up and I'll be back. I'm gonna quickly make sure that I have all my edges covered and I'm just tapping my fingers along the side of the canvas just to make sure that I am covering all the edges here and just tap along the sides here. I love this color. I used it for my daughter's painting if you've seen that video. And it's a gorgeous color. Just tap. Okay. Okay. So we are all set here. 
If you still see air bubbles surfacing, go ahead and torch those out. I do see more surfacing. And it is, um, you see a lot of air bubbles because if this paint I did shake because it was sitting on my shelf. So I did shake it rigorously. So I have a lot of air bubbles now coming. Okay. Now I'm thinking as I'm doing this, what um, composition I want. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you. This is the first color I'm layering. That's Olive Green Deep by Amsterdam. And I am thinking, let me see. Okay, so I'm going to go like in the Y motion. So kind of that. Yes. Okay. Next, I am using Pearl Green by Amsterdam, and I'm layering this one on top of the dark green because this is a pearl paint. And the pearl paints usually tend to show up when they're sitting above a darker color. That's when it works best. So here is the pearl green. Okay. I love the colors already. Next, I have Prussian Rose by Amsterdam. Love that pink. It's so soft. It's a baby pink. So we're doing this. Interesting color combination. Tell me what do you guys think? What are your bets? How is this going to turn out? And I am adding on top of that Pearl Pink by Arteza. I am adding the Pearl Pink because I want shine. I want shimmer in this painting. This is going to help me with that. Okay. So two tones of pink. Next color is Pearl Pistachio Green by Arteza. So we'll see how this turns out. And I love this color. I love this pistachio green. Absolutely. Okay. My next color is Grayish Blue by Amsterdam. And you're probably thinking already, what a disaster this is going to be. But I saw the color palette. It is interesting and I like it. Let's see how it turns out. So nothing is going to deter us from this color palette today. We are going for it. No matter what. I am adding a little bit of the 24 karat gold by Deco Art. And as you know, this takes over. So I do want, but I want a smidge of it. Just like that. Perfect. I did good this time. And last, I am doing Pearl Tangerine Orange on the top. Look at that color palette and tell me if you don't think that's pretty, pretty, pretty. Because I love it. Maybe it's not for you. But we'll see how it turns out. So let's get these out of the way here. We're going to once again torch this out because we do have more air bubbles surfacing. Keep that in mind. Just like that. Okay. Now, I am going to go ahead and I am going to begin. I'm going to go ah uh, down this way. Okay, I'm going to set it to low and we're going to go ahead and begin.
absolutely gorgeous. This is Gorgina. I am happy, super happy. Very pretty, very subtle. Love it. I love the pop of the deco art as is showing up. Beautiful. Absolutely happy. Now, I have taught you in the past that I kind of kind of embellish as is wet and sitting here on my table. I just put some of the paint down that I want to add to certain sections. And I just want to add it to this section right here. So all I do is I take a little stick, paint the tip of it, as you can see, and I'll draw the lines to complete them. So just a way for you to kind of add color in certain sections. And it kind of works beautifully. I'm going to just blow a little bit in here just to break it up. Just like that. See? And as it develops here, you should see how gorgeous this is. It's such a soft color palette. So we're going to go ahead. I am going to clean my edges. And what I do when I clean my edges is I just go along the bottom and I kind of take the paint that is sitting on the bottom and I take it off with the same stick. Um, so kind of this. Um, see, so just removing the excess paint from the bottom and this will, um, allow for your painting or, or your abstract design to stay on the top is not being pulled off on the sides. Um, so we'll be right back. I'll show you the wet results. Okay, everyone. So here she is and she is a beauty. I am going to go ahead and show you. Look at those colors. Tell me what you think about this. I love it. I'm super happy with the color palette and the way it turned out. Absolutely a gorgeous piece. So let me go ahead and bring you into this petal. Take a look at this beauty. Love that splash of blue, how it shows up. Look at those cells. And you can kind of see the blanket of the 24 karat gold. Take a look at that shine right there. Look at those cells, gigantic cells, beautiful reaction, and then kind of softens up as it goes into the center here. I love those two streaks of orange, that tangerine orange way to show up there at the top. Beautiful. More cells. And again, you can see how the 24 karat gold, I did a very good job in just lightly coating. Look at that petal there, the edge. Gorgeous. And then coming back down to the other petal here. Look how beautiful that turned out. Absolutely gorgeous. So soft, so subtle. Look at that. Beautiful. And when this gets a top coat of resin, it will pop, absolutely. But I want to embellish this um, when, I, uh, when it dries. So tell me what you guys think. Thank you for watching here, Fluid Arts by Elsa. Give me your ideas. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.